Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, subscribe and leave a like and comment. Um, and also if you're new, I've done a type 1 diabetes and how I felt a few weeks ago. Um, so if you'd like to go watch that and you'll know what I'm talking about. So today we're gonna be tell I'm going to be telling you about my update about type 1 diabetes. So I can't have sugar like chocolate, c candy, and most cereals, and most anything that's got full of sugar, I can't have anymore because it's actually dam damaging my body. And if I eat too much sugar, then I can actually lose my limbs. And my family can't, my family doesn't want me to get hurt because of the sugars. Um, so this is actually my kit. Um, so it's got all sorts in it. Um, it's got my special meter. My meter, my, this is a meter. This is my strips and this is my special pen to help, um, to check my blood sugars. And this is one of the pens I take. Also, I take, um, Lantus in the morning. It's a slow release and this is a fast release. I take this four times a day. Sometimes it really bugs me to take it four times a day because I just don't like taking medicine all the time. Um, because it just bugs me. Um, because, and also, I like to eat sweets, but I know I can't have them all the time. I can occasionally have, like, a chocolate bar a month, like every second month I can have a chocolate bar. But lately, I because I've been having so many lows and highs, um, our pet dog, her name's Ebony, she has um, senses that I go into lows and senses that I go into high. So if I go into a high, she'll like lick me, or if I go into low, she'll start jumping all over me and telling me that I need to check my blood sugars. Or I'll start feeling sick and shaky and not feel well. Um, so hopefully I'm going to get through this. And I'm going to fight diabetes. Because diabetes is actually real bad for some people. Because some people you can actually lose limbs. And some people might die from it because how severe it is. Or they might die because they don't look after it properly. Like, I, because I haven't been looking after it properly lately, I could actually lose limbs. Um, I've had multiple blood tests done um, to see what I've been up to and what my blood sugar's been. I've been going to see the dietitian every three months and the diabetic lady every three months to and seeing, telling them what I've been eating and all the updates and stuff. Um, and also I will be doing a video after this about ADHDI. Um, I am got, I've got ADHDI as well. It's a kind of a disorder like where kids can't sit still for. It's for long. It's called Attention Difficulty Hyperactive Disorder and I stand for Impulsive Type. I was diagnosed with ADHDI when I was really little. So, and... Yeah. Sorry about that. Guys, my camera moved a wee bit. So, I love I love my family to bits. And I don't want to see them hurt because of what I've been doing with my diabetes. So, if you leave in a... If you're a type 1 diabetic or type 2, maybe a type 1, could you leave a comment and tell me how I can handle my diabetes? Because I don't know how to handle it all the time. Some days I just say, I'm going to do this. I can fight this. But some days I just don't want to do it anymore because it just hurts my body. And I feel embarrassed to do it in front of my friends. And I feel embarrassed to do it sometimes because I'm scared people's, people are going to go, Oh, that person's, that person's really... We, that that person looks really weird because she's jabbing herself in the stomach all the time and so if you know any tips or anything um about how you can how I can help myself and my family to cope with my diabetes 
um, and any healthy food snacks I could try because at the moment I'm having too much sugar and too much junk food and it's just killing my body and I I do a course, a hospitality course and they we do lots of yummy cooking and I can't eat all the stuff that they make because it's full of sugar so I have to give all, mostly all my food to my friends. Sometimes I can bring it home and eat but sometimes I just can't because it's just too full of sugar it's excuse me um it's full of sugar and my body can't handle it anymore um so if you got any tips or anything you can you just like drop in like a comment um and just ex tell me what i'm doing wrong and stuff because i want to be the person i used to be before i was diagnosed with diabetes i used to be like, I used to eat healthy stuff sometimes, but sometimes I never got to eat healthy stuff. It was always junk food, and I just didn't want to eat junk food anymore. And, and I don't know what I'm, I don't know what to do. Like, it hurts me to see, it hurts me, and it hurts my family because I'm eating, like, I eat BK, I eat KFC, I eat McDonald's, like, pretty much every month. I eat KFC, McDonald's, all the fast foods, all the junk food that I shouldn't be eating. And it just hurts me and my family because my family doesn't want to see me hurt or go into a coma or something bad that happens because I'm eating too much junk food. And with me, with sugar, I I like, I used to love my cup of tea with sugar, but now assuming I can't have sugar with cup of teas it just tastes different so if you know anyone that's a type 1 diabetic give them like I'm gonna give you guys some pointers so like if you uh, if you're urged to eat something that you're desperately wanting to do say no and if your body's saying do it say no because diabetes is the most hurtful and bad thing if you want to buy if you want to buy a chocolate say no if your friends want to buy you chocolate say no because whenever my friends say oh do you want a bit of chocolate I'm like no because it's killing my body um so I'm urging you to yeah help me to uh, overcome my fear of losing my limbs. I'm scared if if I keep this up, eating like nooch grain all the time and all the junk food. I'm scared I'm gonna lose my limbs because I'm my family's scared as well. Thank you for listening to my 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 diabetes YouTube video. I'm sorry, sure it's just because I'm going to be making another video about my ADHD soon. So please, if you're new, subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you soon. Bye.